Pete, we're here to talk about Songbox. What is it really? Well, what's nice about it is actually a box. It is actually uh, a, bo yeah, a box real box. With, yeah, with <laughs> artwork and the songs in it, and it's got uh, yeah the eleven songs on the album, and then the eleven songs on the album covered by various people. Are there any um, versions where you think, my word, they've actually done it better? Yeah, I'm really well. I mean, they've all done really interesting things with them. I think uh, I, I like the proper ornaments version, the way the way that they've changed the chords and actually improved the song. Yeah. Um, if I if I do that song again, I might actually change the chords. Right. What's that song called? Look away. They've changed some of the chords in the chorus. Mm. I think maybe there's a line in it which I think maybe they didn't like, so they changed the. Uh, wow. Change, they changed change your lyrics. Change the lyrics as well. It's great. The version's great. So I'm I'm, I'm going to work that out and do that version in the future. I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that, that's a good idea. So, who tell us a few like other bands, you know, who or, uh, or artists who've, who've done the songs. Raincoats did one, really, which is like wow. uh, song Perfect Crime. Mm. Uh, Dollboy did one. Uh, did Dead Trumpets mm. in sort of an electro style. Um, Patrick Fitzgerald did uh, Sleepers. Uh, Let's Wrestle did Tiny Town. Which right. which uh, was also slightly songwriterly wise was improved. It's got a good wow. uh, good uh, Thin Lizzy style guitar break. You know? Oh, wow! So, um, mm. Yes, Piano Magic version of Mr. Song, which sounds really good. Oh yeah. Um, a group called Pastorel have done a version of the song Dunce, right. which is really good. Um, Comic Gain have done Four Letter Word again. In fact, they've mm. changed Four Letter Word as well, made it simpler mm. and. Uh, Probably so, better, right? You know. So, so there's a lot of young bands who've done, yeah, done your yeah, songs. young, young, young and old, yeah, yeah. yeah not just, not just all yeah, the not, people that I grew up just, with, you know. <laughs> yeah. You are um, second language. Yeah. Um, well, they Glenn, Glenn Johnson, who used to run Tugboat, um, oh, yeah. a Rough Trade, yeah, yeah, um, so Rough Trade, uh, David Shepherd, the Mojo journalist, and, and totally you wrote that Eno decision. book, and you wrote the Eno book, yeah. Um, and Martin Holm, the Danish musician. Oh. Um, so, yeah, so three of them. They want to make something, yeah, which is kind of finite. And also, I think it's quite nice that it exists, and when it's gone, it's gone. It's mm. kind of, I think, in the, with, with things being digital, I mean, everybody that's had an MP3 on their computer, you, you take it from a, a file, put it on your desktop, send it in an email, and suddenly you've got three clones of the same track over and over and over. Obviously, endlessly, you can clone the same piece of music. Yeah. Whereas what's nice about this is when it sells, when it's gone, it's gone, then there aren't any more copies of it. Yeah, I, I agree. Know, so that's a nice right. thing. And it's the same, same when you do a gig mm. and, and you, don't, you don't record the gig. Mm. It's kind of quite nice yeah. that it exists for that moment in time and then it's gone. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So you, you've just come back from a gig in Paris, a solo, a solo gig. Yeah, yeah, which was, I did it with uh, Ben Philipson. Uh, plays a comic game, um, Day of May. So we we both played on a uh, on a balcony. You 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 enter a competition and you uh, oh. you you get in this like 30, 40 people get get to be on this sort of balcony bit overlooking my wow. march. And we play uh, acoustic set there. It's uh, pretty pretty great. So, so the the prize is to see you play live. Yeah, yeah, God, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. So that's it's really, really cool. Good. It's good gig. Really yeah. good gig. Really fun. Look, it's uh, the seventh. CL, which I think is the seventh floor. So it's this a, it's a website, part mm. of the Pop News, uh, which is a, uh, an online magazine in yeah. France. Um, got a big online magazine in France. So, that, so then they have a, that competition. They mm. run that, and they, they run these gigs on the uh, on the on the balcony. Wow! So it's beautiful. It's lovely. Are you going to play any more dates with the Loft? We're doing a Mark Riley session oh, yeah. in a couple of weeks. Um, playing up in Preston. Yeah. Um, we're going to do. We might do some one night at the Lexington. Might do a, a live at the living room. A live at the living room. Yeah, at the Lexington. Um, we might get the night. We're going to play with the Nightingales. Oh. The Nightingales, the Loft, and the Legend. And what to recreate a night that would have happened? Yeah. At well, that's the, the idea. Club. Yeah. Possibly. Mm. I think we might <laughs> want a new band as well. I mean, uh, Lalo Vasquez mm. is a band that we like. They've, they're yeah. playing with us up in Preston before the Mike Riley session. I think uh, so. Mm. Let's do because we played with Comic Gain and Veronica Falls a while ago. Yeah. Which was really nice as well. So it was that thing that it wasn't just mm. uh, middle-aged men. You know. <laughs> Solo gigs and the and this album are the main things you're doing at the moment. No, I mean, main, not main. I mean, the main things I'm doing mm. is teaching and lecturing mm. and researching. That's probably the main thing that I do yeah. and, and writing, and uh, you know that that's sort of that's my day job. That's what yeah. I that's what I do most of. Mm. Um, you know, mm. searching popular music culture stuff like that. Mm. 
teaching things, lecturing on things, mm. um, and also making music.